Hello, happy morning, afternoon, evening, whenever you're watching this. I cannot tell you how excited I am to be filming the last video out of this prep season. I think I have filmed six videos this week, which is not my norm at all. And I am so done filming videos. So I want to talk to y'all about Facebook groups. I recently fell in love with Facebook groups again. Now I say recently because way back in the day, I liked them. I'm talking like 2000 and 13, 14, but they became very spammy. They became a place where the only time people invited you to a Facebook group is if they're trying to sell you something or they were having some kind of event and they wanted you to come and like be a body in the chair. So it looked like they had a bunch of people in there. So I've had horrible experiences with Facebook groups. I get invited to them at least 10 times a week right now. And I've been a part of a lot of them that were just very spammy, no engagement whatsoever, and very little value. So I had kind of headed away from doing them up until recently. And then I decided I wanted to have a Facebook group to be able to add value more one-on-one -on -one and be able to kind of like build a relationship with my community. So far, I've had a really good success rate with that. And I've been able to get a lot of clients out of Facebook groups that I hadn't planned on doing that. I just planned on basically it kind of warming up my market and then being able to direct people to a website. But I've been able to get a lot of clients inside the group. So I'm going to show you a few tips and tricks I've been able to use to keep my Facebook group engaged and people consistently messaging me from there. Now I will tell you, I've got nine tips I'm gonna share with you today. And number nine is by far like the most genius. I've also got a really cool freebie full of templates to give away to you today. So you're gonna to wanna to stay till the very, very end of this video. Now, if you're new here, I'm Tanya Johnson. I am the founder of the Boss Mom Company where I help mompreneurs create that Instagram lifestyle in real life. So we all know there's a portrayal that we put out on Instagram that sometimes can be a little exaggerated. I want to show you that the Instagram life and your real life can be one in the same, and you absolutely can achieve that work-home life balance that is so coveted these days. So we're going to focus on social media marketing and email marketing to work hand in hand and achieve that balance. So let's talk about Facebook groups. We're going to jump right in. This is going to be a relatively short training, but it is one that I think is jam-packed with value and one that you can take action steps today, either by starting a group or by getting your group reactivated. Now, these are in no particular order. They're just, again, nine tips that I have been able to use and share. So the first thing I've written down is promoting your group one-on-one -on -one in the DMs. Now, the thing we all know we should not be doing is mass inviting people to these groups. That is something that will get your Facebook shut down. It's something that's a super spammy tactic that was taught for a while. It's just something that will get friends and family to stop looking at your products or your business altogether because you are becoming that spammy spammy. So we know not to do that. However, you can promote it one-on-one -on -one in the DMs. So something I like to do is connect with my new followers and my new friends. All that means is as soon as someone follows me or they send me a friend request and I accept it, I'm just going to send them a message and the homeschool and the business is a little bit different because I have two different brands that I run on social media. I'm just going to use the homeschool one to kind of tell you how I do this. So they, I immediately would reach out to them and just say, Hey, thanks so much for the follow. How long have you been homeschooling? Or are you a homeschool mom? Depending on what I can tell from their profile. So that's just going to start a conversation. We'll have a few sentences back and forth. I'll voice message them if I possibly can. Cause that just helps with that emotional connection a little bit more. And then I will send them a link and whatever the last thing we talked about. So, oh, that's awesome. I love that your kid loves music. I've actually got a lot of free like activity sheets that they might like. And I send them a link with my freebies. And then I send them a link with the homeschool group and say, I've also got a group with a bunch of other homeschool moms. You're welcome to join. We just have a lot of fun in there. We play games and we kind of bounce ideas off each other. So I'm not selling them anything. I'm giving them a freebie pack, which immediately gets them onto the email list. And then I'm offering them a group, which is one way to build that connection with them, to move them through the funnel to buying something down the road. Now, sometimes they don't ever buy anything, but they become people that are loyal to your page. And they're the ones that are constantly sharing out your content, which is getting your page in the eyes of more people, which I count that as a sale. I know it's not a immediate sale, but it is something that I am gaining something from doing that action. Now, you can agree or disagree with me on that. That's totally fine. But it is worth getting your name out there to more people. 
And another way that you can grow through in the DM is just a lot of times you'll have people asking you questions once you brand yourself. When you become an authority in your niche, you'll get questions about that niche. And so an easy way for me to justify spending time answering those questions is I'll answer the question and then same thing. Hey, I've actually got a lot of homeschool freebies. Here's a link. You're welcome to see if you need anything. And I've got a homeschool support group that you're welcome to join. Here's the link for that. So I am just, when it comes up and when it's relevant, I am telling people about it one-on-one in the DMs. Now that's not the most effective way to grow your Facebook group by any stretch, but again, it's one opportunity that you can utilize as you're growing. Another way to grow is by utilizing current Facebook groups. Now I think I'm going to do a whole video on how to use Facebook groups to grow your business, like Facebook groups that you don't own. I'm not going to touch on that today, but if somebody asks a question inside of a homeschool group that I'm in, and I have a video that explains it. Now, I can't promote my Facebook group in there. I'm not going to be like, oh, join this Facebook group and I'll answer your question. But I absolutely can answer their question with a video. So let's just say, for example, someone says, hey, I'm struggling. I need to find English curriculum. What do you guys use? I will respond back and say, hey, I actually use XYZ, which right now we're using purple book. I don't remember what we're using. I'd have to look at it. It's like learning through something. But right now we're using such and such. Um, I actually fully recommend learning your child's learning style and then picking a curriculum from there. Here's a video that actually explains the four learning styles and I have all the curriculum link that goes along with each learning style. So feel free to let me know if you have any further questions on this. And I link my video. And then when they watch the video, the video actually tells them to go join the Facebook group. It's already in there. So that's one way that you can promote your group inside of another group without getting kicked out. And I did the same thing in the business world. One of my goals, my daily business tasks, is to interact in a Facebook group for five minutes. And I track this. Part of the business planner that I created has a group tracker in there. I think the planner pack is like five bucks, but it has all the stuff you need to track your daily business stuff. So I actually would recommend getting that. It's over on the website at helpingheartshomeschool.com. Click on the business link and then you can scroll down or you can get it from the link in the description. It's down there as well. But I interact in the Facebook group. And then if anybody asks a business question that has to do with email marketing or social media, how to grow your Instagram, how to brand, whatever, I'll answer it with a link to one of my videos. In the video, it talks about the Facebook group and I get a lot of my group members from there. So it's a very easy way to grow your group from other groups that are in the same niche. Now, another way to grow the group is through a welcome email. So I'm going to show up on the screen, the welcome email that I use for the boss mom company. So if you download any of my freebies, you're automatically going to get a welcome email and it's going to show you exactly what I have to offer, have to offer. The fourth way is the ad tag method. So this is one that's really good if you have an opportunity video that you specifically created. So what I do is I put my opportunity video in the Facebook group. And when people ask me what I do, I tell them, hey, I've got a short five minute video. Is it okay if I send it over? They almost always say yes. And then the link that I send is actually to the video that's inside the group. So I say, okay, this is the video is inside my private Facebook group. Just click join. I'll get you accepted. And then once you watch the video, you can always leave if you want to. You don't have to stay in there, but it might be something you want to stay around. We do fun games and giveaways in there as well. So it's just another way to get people into the group. Because a lot of times they're going to watch that opportunity video and they're not going to join right away. But keeping in that group and keeping that group engaged, which we'll talk about in just a minute as well, is going to recruit people on autopilot. So they would join the group, you would accept them, and then you would tag them underneath the video and say, hey, so-and-so, this is the video I was talking about. Let me know once you've watched it. I typically wait about 48 hours. If they don't message me back, then I'll message them and say, hey, what do you think about the video? Any questions I can answer for you? And we kind of go from there into the sealing the deal with them and getting to join your team. Another way is you can have a sidebar on your blog or your website. And I'm going to show you what the sidebar is. I don't have my group linked on here because I have two groups. Because my website deals with both the homeschool community and the business and the business community, I didn't want like 17 things on the sidebar. So I typically try to keep it to three or four. You can see the ones that I have this time but especially if you only have one brand or you have multiple websites for business and for homeschool then you can actually just have that facebook group right there on the sidebar so the next way we've already talked about and that is having a plug-in in your videos so every one of my videos i talk about hey follow me at the boss mom company and then 
If it is relevant, I will put a picture up of the actual community, like I'm going to do right here for you guys. And I do this through several of my videos and I just tell them, hey, this is the community that I have. It's over on Facebook. It's called the Boss Mom Club. If you want to join over there, we play a ton of games. We do lots and lots of freebies and giveaways. And then we have free trainings that you guys can access. So that's something that I plug into a lot of my videos and you can plug in to your videos if your content matches your group, which it absolutely should. So at the bottom of my emails, I typically will tell them that they can join the group there as well. I'm not super consistent on this one. I probably should be, and I definitely should be. So I'm going to create an email signature and be a little bit more professional with that. But basically, just at the bottom of every email, you're telling them where they can find you and you're including your group in that text as well. Editing Tanya here. I'm not sure how this got missed with the filming, but number eight is social media posts. Now these can be very, very simple. Literally all you're gonna do is post about something that your group will fix. So a pain point that your audience has, because remember, we are leading with value. We are not promoting that we have a sales group. That is not the point of the group. So with this, I just put, have you read your Bible yet today? Need some extra accountability? Join our free Bible group. So you can literally do a post for any kind of Facebook group. And you can do it as a post as well as a story. And then the last one, and this is what I told you is my absolute favorite, is playing games inside of Facebook groups. Now, I'm going to put a little graphic over here on the screen because the freebie I have are 12 games that you can play in your Facebook group. So you can play a different one every single month. I've also got two schedules that you can follow. So I have a schedule one and a schedule two, and you can do whatever you want with these as well. But for example, like certain games are better if they're themed. Like if you're having a quiz game, it usually is better if it's themed around a holiday. We have a lot of fun holiday quizzes you can use. If you're doing Scrabble, it's fun to have some kind of quote on there. So the Scrabble quote can be Christmas or a gratitude quote, or it can be a love quote or something like that. Um, Boggle is a really good fun one. You can go look at yourself. There's 12 games. They have detailed instructions. They have exactly how you set them up and run them in your group. And then I also have an added to that. If you look at these games and you're like, Tanya, these look awesome. I really want to incorporate these, but I do not have time to go like make any of this stuff up. Then you can actually reach out to me at the Boss Mom Co. And this is one of the services that I offer are building these games for your Facebook group from scratch. They have your logos on them, your theme, your color palette, whatever it is that you want on them. And so they're made, they're given to you. You get the link and the PDF. So they're ready to use all the instructions and everything, but you also have the link so you can customize them for later groups if you want to. So that is something if you want a ready for you game, go ahead and message me on the Boss Mom Company and I can put it all together for you. But go ahead and download this freebie first. These are very, very simple to do. They're so easy for you to go put together. It's not something that you have to outsource. It's just something that you could outsource if you want a little bit more time, not because they're too hard to make, if that makes sense. I make them all in Canva. So these are ones that you can make on your own. They probably take between 10 and 30 minutes for each one, depending on what game you're using. And then again, just make sure you save it and you can reuse it several different months, several different groups, and just by re-theming them. So I hope these tips helped. I really look forward to seeing some of your games. So if you have a group you're using it in and you want to add me, I would love to participate and kind of see what else is going on. Obviously, I'd have to limit that to a few people each month because I don't have time to be playing 50 games per month. But I, I love these games. I've seen some use. Some of these I made up on my own, but they are just a game changer when it comes to your group's engagement. And then what's going to happen is your group is going to be very, very engaged. They're going to be commenting and adding pictures and just really, again, the engagement is going to be through the roof. So automatically, Facebook is going to show that group to more people. They're going to suggest it for people to join, which becomes a lead magnet for you. And then you're going to be sharing testimonials in there and product posts. Now, not all the time. You do not want this to be a spammy group. But because your group is so used to running every time you post because they know it's something about the game, they're going to run when you post and it's going to be, oh, look, it's an opportunity post. Oh, look, we have an event tonight. Oh, look, this is a product that's BOGO and you're going to get a lot more sales out of your group just because it's more engaged. So again, thank you all for tuning in. I am so excited to be done with filming. <laughs> if you've ever done a prep week, let me know down in the comments. Or if you've ever just filmed a lot of videos in one week and you're like, oh, I totally feel you. It's crazy. 
let me know in the comments because I'm so excited to be over this. Um, and I say that a week's going to go by and I'm going to be ready to hop back on and do more trainings, but six in a row is a lot. So I will see y'all next week. And until next time, I hope you have fun utilizing some of these tips and tricks. Bye.